Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Megabox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at uh, architectural clay from Treat. And this is a specialty filament from them and I'm going to show you my results on it after the intro. So let's have a look. So this filament is a very special filament. Uh, I absolutely had no good results with this filament. I was trying to get it to work on my Prusa MK3 printer on the PI seat and the problems I was having were splitting and warping and it was getting loose on the bed after quite some time. Initially the, the model stuck quite well but after maybe 10 minutes they started to warp. I tried glue stick and several other methods of trying to get it stuck on the bed but it always got warping and when I cleaned the bed with isopropanol I, I got a model to stick pretty well and I then just had the model splitting up after a few centimeters but let's have a look at the close-ups so most of the prints I had didn't go very far and this is just a sample of how it was warping on the bed and I had tried several different methods of trying to to get it to stick on the bed and always was getting this warping and I finally had this print coming like one centimeter on the, on the bed and this started to split up and also started to warp and I was having no luck basically and this print I cancelled because it was just warping of the bed even though it's very big surface area on the bed it was just warping up without any special reason because it's a very thin model and I had no luck and here's more of the warping issues and I then tried the Omno model and that was splitting up and the layer adhesion was not very good and this model here I got stick pretty well on the bed after I cleaned it very well with acetone and isopropanol alcohol but then I got this splitting happening in the part and this was printed in an enclosure and this one was printed at 240 degrees on the hot end and 90 degrees on the bed and in a closed enclosure and the temperature in the enclosure was 40 degrees so it was very warm inside the enclosure but still I got this splitting and here it, I just cancelled the print after all those tries I had a little bit of it left and I just was unable to get a successful print with this filament. As you can see all the, the models are just warping and, and splitting so I don't know the conditions that you have to have to be able to get a successful print with this filament but one thing I noticed about this filament it's it's very soft and you can easily just cut into it and it, is, it has a very nice surface finish to it but it's uh, like a clay but you can easily just cut into it and, and adjust it so it maybe has some properties that you desire in, in some use cases if you are able to get a print uh, working but for me at least I was unable to get a successful print with this filament so this uh, filament from Treat Architectural Clay was uh, the letdown of this maker box that I got from January to February I was unable to get one single print working for me and every, every print was just not working so I would resort a little bit more with this filament if you plan to buy this filament and maybe if you have tried this filament and have got good results please leave them in the comments I would like to know if someone has used this filament with good success and what the printing temperatures and, and environments that you printed in but for me at least it was uh, not working so I won't buy this filament <laughs> myself without having some more information on how to print with it so that was a letdown for this filament but uh, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.